Hi everybody, I am back with another video of how to utilize your Pokemon correctly in OU. I was playing UU, well at least I tried when UU was open on the ladder, but it was so thoroughly unenjoyable because the ladder was so dead. So I would like to play other tiers, but it's just really, really hard to find a game and the player pool is so very small that it's you don't really have much flexibility to try things outside of the meta. Which can get quite boring if you're using the staple team every single time and you don't really have anyone to practice on. And if you're a busy person, you know, good luck trying to get your, get your money up in the other tier. So, if I want to make Pokemon shine, looks like I have to do it the old-fashioned way and try them out in OU. So, we have this team here at the top. Oops, at the top here. And uh, take a good look at this team <laughs> and tell me, what do you want me to do with this? This is another one of my randomly rolled teams, and I occasionally roll some bad teams, but usually... A good percentage of the time there is an OU Pokemon on there or something that could really help me out uh, fight against the OU meta. And then I rolled this one and I was like, oh man, I'm going to have my work cut out for me. So we have Dragonite, Electrode, Polyrath, Sea King, Muck, and Dugtrio. No Psychic type in sight. Not even a normal type. It's just bad. Muck and Sea King. I think Sea King is should be called Sea Peasant because he's the worst water type Pokemon in the whole game, in my humble opinion. And Muck's that not that much better himself. I think the only poison type worse than Muck would be like Beedrill, and he's part bug type. So like the worst hard poison type, worst mono poison type in the in the game is Muck, I believe. And then Electrode can't do anything against Rhydon. And uh, Dragonite, not even OU. I'd, I'd say Dragonite's my best Mon. And then Dugtrio, which has amazing speed and is a staple in UU. So that's the best I got. But that's okay. I do it for the thrill. I love a challenge. And I am going to show you how knowledge of the meta can help you win, even with a crappy team. And if you can do it with a crappy team... You can do it to the maximum with an actual good team. I actually beat a person with a standard OU team using this, if you could believe it or not. And we are going to answer your question now. So, how do you pull off a miracle using these Pokemon? Um, it's not easy. You really have to kind of think outside the box on this one. So the first thing I need to do, absolutely need to do, is find a starter, a good starter. And you need to spread that paralysis early on. That is the most important thing, I believe, that you could possibly do, especially if you don't have access to sleep. The only kind of, I think the only sleep I could do would be on Polyrath. And Polyrath is just too weak to Psychic and Electric for me to want to do a 60% Hypnosis on other Pokemon and just like miss and totally fumble Polyrath. Polyrath has a better use for me. So I ended up going with Dragonite as my lead and um, really the only thing I was <coughs> terribly worried about was Jinx and luckily I didn't uh, get a Jinx for this, for this uh, battle. But if you notice, this isn't the uh, OU standard Dragonite. I had to mix it up a bit because I was just lacking an actual good Pokemon. So I needed Dragonite to serve a different role on the team as a starter. So um, I have Thunder Wave, Body Slam, Hyper Beam, and Thunderbolt. No Blizzard on this. No Wrap, no nothing. Most importantly, uh, I need that Thunder Wave early on. And Dragonite is pretty resilient to uh, special attacks. You know, he's got really good stats. Uh, he's Lance's last Pokemon, so, you know, he counts for something. Um, I opted for Thunderbolt instead of Blizzard because uh, of Starmie openers. 
and uh, Body Slam Hyper Beam for Alakazam. So really I'm trying to Thunder Wave and do as much damage as I can before I go down and uh, kind of ride off of that. Uh, believe it or not, second one I want to talk about is Electrode. And Electrode, given how barren this team is, Electrode is actually very important. Um, even though he is completely walled by Rhydon. And I generally, my, my, advo my advice is generally to save your electric types for last, just so you don't get walled early on. And you don't want to tip off your opponent and let them know, hey, block me, hey, block me, hey, save your ground type and block me for the whole game and have, have it in your pocket forever. You, you know, I generally advise against that, but this is a, this is a special situation. And um, I just really need Electrode for a lot of important situations because he's my only other Thunder Wave user. Yeah, Body Slam is nice, but really it's like the one-third roll is... You don't want to have to rely on that, so I need the Thunder Wave. And I actually opted to put Light Screen on him because I, you know, he's he's important, and I don't want to blow him up too soon. I want him to last a little longer, and I want to fish for critical Thunderbolts on him. I really have to utilize Electrode. And this team is super hit or miss, I mean, clearly. So it's like if the opponent has a ride on and you pop the electrode early on, you might have to say sayonara. And that's just how it is when you're using random teams. It's like, you know, there's so much chance involved. Like you might just get a, your opponent's lineup might just tear you down and you can't really do anything about it. Polyrath. As mentioned before, uh, I decided to nix Hypnosis on Polyrath because I really wanted to utilize his Amnesia some more. And I wanted to have submission for the big three which I think is a little bit better than trying to land a hypnosis and uh, dying. And you might say, oh, you know, submission, it's inaccurate too. Yeah, sure, but mostly the Amnesia Blizzard Surf is what I was looking for, and the submission is just kind of like a bonus, and mostly like, you know, chancy. Or if I, don't, if I don't have time to activate the Amnesia, I have submission for at least three Pokemon on the other team. So Polyrath is really important because uh, he can get his money up. <laughs> he, he can... He can get his special up, and um, this team really, it really can't do that. I think Polyrath is the only one who can really tank some special. All right, Sea King. So, Sea uh, King is a Pokemon. All right, Muck. So, Muck, we have Body Slam, Explosion, Hyper Beam, Fire Blast. <sighs> what is there to say about Muck? He explodes. That's good. Body Slam, Hyper Beam, uh, really just get possible paralysis and damage on something. Fire Blast, because I might want to get a burn. Muck actually has pretty good defense, so what's his defense like? Oh, it's not that good. HP, maybe? He has good HP, I'm sorry. That's why he's so chunky. He has decent HP. But he has a small move pool, so Fire Blast will have to do. And Doug Trio, um, our boy Doug Trio, he's really fast and he can't be Thunder Waved or Electriced, but he's still pretty frail. So, like, using against Zapdos, it's not even like a hard switch into Zapdos, so you still have to be careful. Um, I went for Earthquake, Rock Slide, Slash, Substitute, and the Substitute is pretty good for late game if you know what your opponent has already. So then you have an opportunity to set that up and buy yourself an extra turn. Slash for Reflect Chanseys, or just Reflect anything, but mostly Chanseys, because his Slash is pretty weak. Rock Slide for the prevalence of Ice types. And of course Zapdos, so you want to kind of try your luck on the crits with the Rock Slides, and Earthquake, obviously. So Dugtrio is a crit machine, though, so he's important as well. So I'd say Dugtrio... Electrode and Dragonite are the three most important Pokemon on the team, and that's not something you hear every day. Oh, and Polyrath, sorry. Polyrath, Electrode, Dragonite, Dugtrio. The other two are just kind of cannon fodder. And I guess I will talk about Sea King. I'm sorry, Sea King, Sea Peasant. Um, Sea King actually really sucks. He's really weak. So I have Agility, Blizzard, Double Edge, Hyper Beam. And Double Edge and Hyper Beam are, are more for, like, maybe I could finish something off if I got lucky. Because his special is nothing to write home about. And Blizzard, you know, 
because it's Blizzard, it's just a really good move, and I can maybe get a freeze if I'm lucky, but the Sea King is just is cannon fodder at this point. So that's essentially the plan. Let's see how it plays out for me. Oh no, it's doing a thing. Hang on a second. Sorry about that. Sometimes the playbacks give you like a like a JPEG error symbol instead of the actual moves, and I know you don't want to be watching that, so... Okay. So, Starmie, Dragonite, right off the bat. He misses his Blizzard, which is a godsend. I get the Thunder Wave that I want, so I could have easily died right there with the Blizzard Starmie, but honestly, it's a chance I have to take, because I don't want to start with Electrode, because that's just too... That just puts me too far behind, especially if they have a ride on. Pretty much only if they have a ride on, which is common enough for me to not do it. So, you know, get that get that paralysis early on with Dragonite. And I'm gonna go Polyrath. I think because I'm expecting another blizzard. Yep, there it is. Okay, so Thunder Wave, I didn't want to have my Dragonite die. I got lucky. I got really lucky. He missed the Blizzard. I got the Thunder Wave. I wasn't going to Thunderbolt him. I'm going to go right to Polyrath, and I'm going to start doing Amnesia, and then I'm going to try to take down this Starmie with Amnesia. Sorry if the video's kind of choppy. My asthma's been acting up, so I have to keep pausing to cough. Yep, alright, so we're going this, and I'm going to go ahead and risk the uh, critical hit, just because, you know, I have nothing to work with. Luckily, when I did the Amnesia, I flipped the speed stats so I could get another one for free. So I'm at plus four right now, or plus six, times four, whatever. And I'm going to start going to town on the Starmie. No crits, which is good. I can stay in there. He's going to get scared and come out. This <laughs> submission's about to come in clutch. I think it doesn't, actually. Let's see. Yeah, I miss it. So uh, that sucks. He gets scared, goes to Gengar. I was going to Blizzard anyway to try to get, like, you know, some damage and a freeze on the chance that he blows up his Gengar, which is great. Great for me. Starmie, Dragonite. Finish it off with the Thunderbolt coming in clutch. It's all coming together. Chansey, you want to get the Thunder Wave on it because I don't have sleep or anything better, really. Yeah, so he took me down instantly with that Chansey. Muck Rhydon. I don't want to switch out into this Rhydon's nasty damage, so I'm just going to stay in and try to lower his attack a little bit with Fire Blast. He's going to go Substitute. This is a cool move I do. You can use Explosion on Substitute, and you won't die. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep destroying his Substitutes with my Explosion, because he thinks he can get lucky and stay behind a Substitute for the next turn. Nope. I'm just going to blow it up and survive my own explosion, and look, his right on is down to 5% off of a muck, which is great. I chose to do uh, double edge there because I was hoping he'd put Chansey back in, and I wanted to get some damage on this Chansey if he was going to do that. And I'm spacing it out with my spacers, muck and sea king, because I'm hesitant to use my electrode and my dug trio. Even though right on's already dead, I'm still hesitant to use two of my good Pokemon. I want to I want to use my spacers first, so that's what I'm going to do. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to load up the agility because maybe I'll get lucky and freeze him, and I'll be faster than the next thing. But you know, I'm too optimistic. Clearly, I did get a nice critical Blizzard though, which is good. I put Electrode in. He's going to go Snorlax. I'm going to punish him for switching and get two crits on the, off the fastest Pokemon in the game. No paralysis off that body slam. Excellent. He's going to go Chansey. I'm going to blow up anyway because this Tauros is, what, 50%? So either way, I get something good with the explosion. And I was going to gamble it all on Doug Trio, which is what ends up happening. Go away, dude. Thank you. All right, so... And boom, that's the game. That's the game with these crappy, crappy Pokemon. Big three, Starmie, Gengar, and Rhydon taken down <laughs> by the Suicide Squad, by the D-Squad. 
there you have it. Uh, again, I apologize if the video was choppy and bad. Been under the weather a little lately. But um, I hope you took something out of it, and I hope you can kind of see that the meta is not infallible. Like, if you learn it enough, you'll be able to pull yourself out of bad situations just by kind of already knowing how it works on a macro scale. So take that to the bank.